Hey Virgo, welcome in. How are you? Welcome. This is your June reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is not going to resonate for all Virgos, so if it doesn't, please check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. That's somebody who's not a Virgo, but is paying attention to a Virgo or something along those lines. Okay. Um, so please take a second to like, subscribe, and share if you like my content. Thank you very much in advance for that. And um, if you're interested in June, we are doing a couple of past life regression sessions uh, with my colleague, Mary Lee uh, Losardo, who is a QHHT practitioner. One is about blasting through money issues, and the other is about twin flame. Where am I on my journey, and is this person my twin flame? These are the kind of questions that get answered in those sessions. So what is twin flame all about for me? I think that's the biggest one. All right, let's see where we go. This is for you. What is going on for you, Virgo? What is going on for you? Hmm, not for you. Okay. Imagine. Fork in the road, baby. Yeah. Um, it does feel to me like some of you are waking up um, and have already walked away from something. Already... That's, that's not the issue we're dealing with today. The issue we're dealing with today is imagining the future ahead, imagining the new person. Um, next week, I'm going to do a, a series, each zodiac sign, about twin flame, um, twin flame, soulmate, or karmic. We're going to check that out. Right now, I feel like there might be something to it for you in terms of what is it that you want? Twin flame, a soulmate, or a karmic in your life? What experience are you is your soul asking you to create here um, the more you can get conscious about what you're creating in your life the more you can choose these experiences and I feel like Virgo you're getting to the point where you're doing a, a good job of this okay you're starting to realize oh I can create my reality I can decide to go down this road or that road um, a timeline really is about just about a choice it's like if I choose to go to college, that's one timeline. If I choose not to go to college, that's another. Moon energy for you. I'll walk you through these. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Wow. Chariot. So far, I see Cancerian energy here a lot. There's your Virgo energy. On the bottom, King of Wands. Lovers, Gemini. Wow. Wow. Leo, the sun, queen of wands. You have a fire sign here. Fire sign who may have some Gemini. There may be some Cancerian energy around. What do you want, poo-poo? King of cups. This is a choice between two people. It's also a choice between... It's also a choice between... Um, your heart and your truth. It's a choice between your past and your future, between how you used to do relationship versus how you're going to do them. I feel like you're stepping very beautifully into this King of Cups energy and allowing for feelings to flow, allowing for Cancerian energy, nurturing energy to be part of your experience and to blend it with... Um, to blend it with passion. I feel like some of you may have thought you had to choose, okay, the two of swords here and the lovers, thought you may have had to choose between stability and passion, love and commitment, um, joy and responsibility, okay? I think a lot of you may have felt that that was your past life or your life, this life, but in the past, okay? Um, <clears throat> what's brought you here, you're showing up as the Nine of Wands. So I'm feeling um, very strongly that you're just on the end, at the end of a cycle, 
at the end of some kind of destructive, toxic, not for you kind of experience. All right. I don't know how um, long you've been in this, but it does feel to me like at some point you made a choice. You made a choice that has brought you to this place of nine of wands where you're like, I, this is not going to happen anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. So the relationship that I'm talking about, <clears throat> the choice that you made about not for you could have been long in the past. Okay. Like instead of choosing, it's instead of saying, I'm not going to choose that kind of person anymore or that experience. You may have been like down with love. Okay. Um, However, Ace of Cups, new love coming in. This is very, this is super legit. Ace of Swords, this is, the opportunity is for you to be able to balance happiness and passion, responsibility and joy. You're balancing these things. Um, little asterisk here. I feel like some of you feel like the part of you that loves is really small, is really, you know, your ch inner child. And instead you spent your life focusing on money or focusing on external values, right? The external, the everything outside of me has value. And what's inside of me is too small and too um, vulnerable to really allow anyone near anymore. So I'm just going to focus on something I can control. Some of you may have had an experience where the thing you thought you could control, the thing you thought was a slam dunk in your life, you can't control. You're getting the awareness that maybe that's not, first of all, maybe that's not the reason to be doing it. But second of all, maybe that's not true. Maybe um, my truth and my decision to follow and to go to follow to, to not follow to go toward something that is happier and more joyful than what I've experienced is in alignment with my truth. Okay, you haven't wanted to hear this for a while. Okay, because it's scary to be vulnerable. It's scary to have um, somebody know you and see you. Even though it's great to be seen and understood. It comes with a, a kind of a double-edged sword that they're like, oh, but I can, you know, I see you. I know what makes you tick. I know. So this idea of being vulnerable to a love, to a person who is um, someone that close, that can be a little scary. So I feel like you have, this is how other people are seeing you, finally coming out the other side of the moon. Okay, coming out the other side of a dark part of your life. And there is a uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, or someone who is exhibiting that energy. Leo, Aries, Sag, Gemini. Um, let me clarify the water energy here. I feel like that might be you, okay, because this is a new opportunity here. This person may be from your past, okay, and there was an opportunity to, to have a relationship with them. And now there's a new offer. Let's see. What's about the water sign here? Five of wands, four of cups, ten of wands, high priestess. Yeah, okay. So for some of you, this is a person um, that you have. There's some kind of secret here. There's some kind of secret or there's some kind of burden with a water sign. I feel like you've been very protective of this person. This person may be um, more Cancerian energy here. This person may be a child, a child or someone who you think can't take care of themselves or can't defend themselves or, and so this has become like a lifelong burden for you that you've really fought the good fight here. and. I almost feel like you walking toward new love. You may have had an opportunity for love in the past and you passed on it because um, you don't think this person can handle themselves, okay, in, in real life. You think they may be too vulnerable or too childlike, right? And so 
instead of going toward, you know, love that is balanced, you may have, um, you, and this might not just be one person. You may have children. You may also uh, continually uh, collect people in your life who require you through whatever um, experience you're having with them to be the, like the, the daddy or the mommy. They're requiring you to be the one who takes responsibility for everyone. Okay. And you may feel very burdened by that. You may feel like it's, what about me? You know, like when is, when do I get to have fun and joy and love and sex and good stuff? When do I get to do these things? So I feel like instead of um, answering that question for yourself for a very long time, Knight of Pentacles, there's your Virgo in the, in the timing uh, space. Instead of, you know, answering that question for yourself, instead you've gone toward money. You've gone toward external or external things you value regard, r rather than understanding your own heart or putting yourself out there or something like that. So I want to clarify the timing here because this feels like this has been going on for a long time. Temperance, Magician, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I feel like you are manifesting something that is really joyful here. Okay. And you may have been manifesting this for quite some time, but also resisting it at the same time. Right. The universe has been working on your behalf for a long time, bringing in people and you've been not interested. If you're watching and you're trying to understand a Virgo, the reason that they have, haven't chosen love is because they like this position of being the mommy or the daddy and the vulnerability that comes along with being in love is um, really difficult for them. Okay. They prefer, this is their method of control, but those kinds of relationships are now um, too overwhelming for them in terms of, you know, I, I don't think I can do this anymore. And mostly because the money thing, oh my God, mostly because the money thing maybe has dried up. That, that might be the reason why, you know, or how they be, was, were the mommy and daddy in the previous relationships is through money. And now I feel like the money thing is going away. All right. That's not a thing anymore. So, um, Virgo, if this is you, then I feel like the money thing is drying up because the love thing hasn't been happening. And it, when the love thing happens again, the money will flow again. Okay. But it's like, you got it all backwards here. You're like exhausting yourself and not really, um, stepping into love because, well, I can control things more with money. Um, it just, you know, I, I don't want you to think I'm using control as like a bad thing. I'm just saying like, I can, I can manage my life better. It feels better to me to navigate through my work or something like that. This person may be throwing themselves into work. If you're the Virgo I'm talking about, you know, all work and no play. Okay. So I feel like there's a fire sign coming in here. And I feel like this is a, this is a legit opportunity. Okay. So let's see, clarify the ace of swords here. What is the truth? Seven of cups, knight of cups, hermit, there's Virgo, eight of swords. Um, I feel like, uh, this, you know, love might be a little bit confusing for you under underneath. I feel like you're much more comfortable when you're not dealing with it. Um, feel free to swap around the characters, Virgo. If you're dealing with someone like this, this is a mindset they have that they're unable, <clears throat> unable to really manifest something that is both of those things, love and sex, fun and joy, responsibility and freedom, like all of these things at once. They, they just think that that can't exist. So if this is you I'm talking about, you are going in the direction of having love again. Okay. You are going in that direction. So I'm going to look at fire signs here. I feel like fire signs and Gemini. And then I also see uh, cancerian. So I will look at all those in the extended. The timing of this is the universe has been trying to get your attention for some time. So the minute you kind of, and I feel like, you know, this, the minute you open up to this, this is going to show up. Okay. Okay. 
All right, Virgo. So link is below. If this is resonating with you, um, I'll see you on the other side.